Hi, welcome back to our class, Chemistry 100B Laboratory. Today, we are going to perform an activity on salts. Now, what is a salt? A salt is a product formed when an acid reacts with a base. This afternoon, we will be performing four different ways on how to prepare a salt. But before we are going to prepare the salt, let us try to know what are the properties of the reacting materials. Since I said a while ago that a salt is formed by reacting an acid and a base, so our starting materials are the acid and the base. So let's try to know the properties of the base first. The base that we're going to use is the ammonium hydroxide. So we will evaporate a drop of the ammonium hydroxide into this boiling water. So we will place one drop of ammonium hydroxide into this watch glass and evaporate it over the water bath. We will let it evaporate for 15 minutes. In like manner, we are also going to evaporate a drop of the acetic acid, which is a raw material in making a salt. We will wait for 15 minutes in order for the acetic acid to be evaporated off. Now, we have already evaporated off the ammonium hydroxide and this is how it looks like. Observe what happens. This is the evaporated ammonium hydroxide. Then we're going to mix a drop of the ammonium hydroxide and a drop of the acetic acid, and we will evaporate it to dryness again on the water bath. And let us observe what will happen to the mixture of the acetic acid and the ammonium hydroxide after evaporating it. Let's allow it to evaporate for 15 minutes. While waiting for the mixture of the ammonium hydroxide and acetic acid to be evaporated off, we will perform another procedure on how to form an acid. So we will just leave it for a while. Let us prepare a salt by reacting the acid on another salt. So we will use here the acetic acid and the calcium carbonate. So the acid here is the acetic acid while the salt is the calcium carbonate. So this is the calcium carbonate. We will get a pinch of this and place it into a test tube and add acetic acid.
and we will let this react for some minutes. So let's go back to the first procedure on knowing the properties of the starting material. So this was the acetic acid that we evaporated off a while ago. I want you to observe. Then let us check the mixture of the acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide, which we allowed to evaporate a while ago. Observe what happened. So this is the mixture of the calcium carbonate and acetic acid, which we allowed to settle for some minutes. I want you to observe what happens. Then we will decant the supernatant and evaporate it to dryness. Observe what happens. Then we will prepare a salt by a reaction between two other salts. This time we are going to use the potassium chromate and the barium chloride. And we will add this with barium chloride. I want you to observe. Observe what happens. And we will prepare another salt by the reaction between copper sulfate solution and magnesium ribbon. This is the copper sulfate solution and we will add this with the magnesium ribbon. I want you to observe what happens. And we will decant the supernatant and allow it to be evaporated on the water bath.
I would like you to observe what happens. That would be all for today. What I would like you to do next is you are going to write all the observations that you have made and answer all the questions given in the lab guide. Then submit your observations or your output next week on Wednesday, that is November 4. That would be all for today. And this is your teacher, Professor Desitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.